Throughout the ages there exist quiet but courageous groups of heroes who love and cherish the lives of all beings. With their great compassion, these enlightened individuals have a clear-sighted understanding that, like human beings, animals are also sentient and are capable of feeling love, courage, protectiveness, pain, sorrow and a range of other emotions. These individuals are heroes because they go against the current trends and social norm to live their lives as compassionate vegetarians. Their ideal is a noble one and their compassion is truly admirable. Who are these heroes? They include past enlightened masters, yogis, spiritual leaders, scientists, artists, writers, celebrities, and our everyday fellow human beings. In admiration and gratitude, on our program we would like to honor these loving and compassionate vegetarian elites on behalf of our animal friends and co-inhabitants of our beautiful planet. Hello kind-hearted viewers, welcome to Vegetarian Elite. Today we continue with our feature presentation of a modern day vegan hero of all animals, award winning actress Mariana Tosca. Last week, Mariana shared with Supreme Master Television that through a chance encounter with a cattle truck, she gave up eating meat at the age of six. On today's show, she talked with us about her role in one of her latest movies, Christmas in the Clouds, a unique movie with a distinctive Native American flair that addresses the relevant issue of vegetarianism. For Mariana, this is the role of a lifetime. So, Mariana, I hear that Christmas in the Clouds has an interesting subplot that our viewers might appreciate. It does indeed. Um, Christmas in the Clouds is actually a romantic comedy set on a Native American ski resort, and uh, Graham Greene from Dances with Wolves plays a vegan chef in it. Um, he's one of the supporting characters, but his main uh, storyline is about trying to get the entire community to turn vegan. He does it in this very subversive way, which is really hilariously funny because the man has incredible comedic timing. Um, M. Emmett Walsh is also in the film. Sure, yeah. It's fantastic. But um, my character also is a vegetarian. I was really delighted to be able to get the message out through mainstream media like this. That was really kind of a... Um, it was a coup for me. I was really Absolutely. delighted. Quite a feather in your cap. It really was. Yeah. It felt good. And one of the other nice things about this was um, because I am vegan, um, the catering crew was kind enough to um, make sure that there were vegan dishes uh, you know, on set for the people who chose to eat that way. Wow, that's terrific. Yeah. So did many of your co-actors try out the vegan diet? Actually, they did. They did. And a lot of them said that they really couldn't tell a difference, which is what I normally hear from people. My co-star, Tim Vale, who plays my the other romantic part of my team, um, is also vegetarian as well. So we had two vegetarians at the helm of this film. Um, that was actually before I went vegan, I shot this film. So that was kind of uh, extraordinary, really. Two years ago, Mariana became a compassionate vegan when she learned about the reality of the farm animal's plight. I consider myself an animal advocate for all living things. Today I just happen to be talking about farm animals because um, when you look at just the numbers, they are the highest number of abused animals on earth. There are 20 million farm animals in the United States that are suffering um, because of our dietary choices. As a result of her love for all living things, Mariana is actively involved in several organizations that protect animal rights. There are several organizations that I'm associated with. 
like I mentioned before, HSUS, which is the Humane Society of the United States. I also am the international spokesperson for an organization called In Defense of Animals, and I had given you that website. It's IDAUSA.org. Um, there's another organization that I'm associated with called Last Chance for Animals, and that's LCAnimal.org. And uh, what I do with them is I lecture at colleges about the role of the artist throughout history in terms of social change and um, the persecution associated with that. So that's always really exciting for me. Um, Sounds fascinating. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great deal of fun and I invariably end up learning more, I think, than, uh, than I'm actually offering these people when I speak. It's even beyond nice. It's galvanizing to me to see the, the openness of people who are, are so um, where they might not have thought a certain way. There's usually like one sentence that I'll say that'll actually open their mind, and I can see in their eyes that something clicked, and and now they're they're allowing themselves to think in a different you know in a different way, and that's always really really thrilling for me. Um, so the thought of actually having some small small part in in perhaps changing someone's way of thinking to a more um, peaceful and eco-friendly lifestyle to me would just be the greatest thing in the world. So I hope I do that on some, on some small scale.
with her big heart, Mariana also adopts dogs from animal shelters and gives them a loving home. In return, her pet dogs give her a priceless lifetime gift of friendship, loyalty, and unconditional love and devotion. Currently, Marianne is also actively working with the Glendale Humane Society in Glendale, California, a no-kill shelter to help increase the adoption rate. There is another organization that I deal with a lot, and it's the Glendale Humane Society here in California. And I met these folks a couple of years ago when I was just uh, traveling through the shelters um, trying to bring some more dogs home to my menagerie. And uh, I walked through these shelters and realized that their adoption rate is so low in Los Angeles in particular. There's, I mean, there's a really high kill rate in Los Angeles, but GHS, Glendale Humane Society, is no kill shelter. And I like that way of thinking, and I like the people that work there. And so we sat down one night, and um, I offered to have my company, Canine Cinema, which produces short films of, of people and their companion animals, I offered to have Canine Cinema come in and shoot all of the adoptable dogs that come in. And what we do then is put up a 20 or 30 second clip of live action of each dog that comes in on the website. If you go on websites for shelters, you can normally see pictures of the dogs that are available, and it has a little blurb about their bio and what they're like. And that's, and that's a great way to market them and get them out of the shelter. But for me, it seemed like live action was something that was more visceral. Um, there was something more reassuring to me about seeing the real personality of a dog, because you can never really tell if they would fit in with your family. And so I started um, helping them with these, these reels for their website about six years ago and I am very honored to say that their adoption rate increased by 300 wow. percent. So that gives me such great joy um, to know that these dogs found their way into to good homes um, because of the aid of these little film videos that were put up their website. Kudos to Mariana for having such an awesome idea to help match dogs with potential owners through live action video clips. The short movie clips provided by Canine Cinema to the Glendale Humane Society are free of charge. Canine Cinema started out as a birthday gift idea for a friend. One of Mariana's friends was turning 50, so she wanted to give him something that would be memorable. Knowing how much her friend loves his dog Casey, Mariana decided to create a short movie clip about the treasured friendship between her friend and Casey. The movie was a huge success as a birthday gift. As a result of positive responses and many requests, Mariana launched K9 Cinema in 2003 and has produced over 100 movies for her customers. Due to her huge success with pleased clients, K9 Cinema was featured on Good Day LA, Fox 11 News, and Animal Planet. In fact, because of the success with the Glendale Humane Society, other shelters outside of California also wanted Canine Cinema's help. We have been able to affect other shelters. Interestingly enough, they've been outside of Los Angeles and outside of California. But, um, but that makes me feel good knowing that we've been able to help other, other dogs in other states find homes. Mariana also has a new branch of her business, Feline Films. So cat lovers, there's movie magic out there for you and your best feline friend. Aside from working with shelters to increase the adoption rate, Mariana also rescued dogs. So have you rescued dogs yourself? Sure, I have four of them myself and I keep collecting them. Dogs are really my passion. I can think of few things greater on the planet than dogs, um, and elephants, and mountain gorillas, and whales. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all, all living things are great, but dogs, canines to me are just fantastic. Um, I adopted uh, a shepherd Saluki mix from the San Francisco SPCA, and he's an amputee, and he's in a cart now because he's. 14 years old. He's having a hard time getting around. We've had a great 14 year run and we've been in several. Um, and then I uh, adopted a black lab Italian greyhound mix from the South Central LA shelter. Um, 
And then my third one is a Dalmatian from the East Valley Shelter on Sherman Way. And then the fourth one is little Clara, and uh, she actually came from the Glendale Humane Society. She's also an amputee. They're just fantastic, and they bring me such joy, and I hope I bring them joy, too. <laughs> and I was just noticing um, that the Supreme Master has a book called The Dogs in My Life, and I was slipping through it earlier. And um, really, it's so remarkable when you think about what these creatures bring to us. And it's in such a subtle, silent way, what gifts they offer us. And uh, really, there's just nothing like them. Look at these guys. Sure, yeah. They're, <laughs> they're just all smiles. It has been our joy to have you with us on this series of Vegetarian Elite. And now, please stay tuned for more inspiring and uplifting programs coming up on Supreme Master Television. May the grace of heaven bless your life with everlasting happiness.